Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the deep playthrough of Resident Evil 7 Biohazards. We are in some kind of a barn which Lucas totally booby trapped. And like over there, for instance, there's like a explosive device and um, where were we oh yeah I was back here and I have the coat I saw the coat on a note in the end of the previous episode if I remember correctly 1408 Nice. Let's check my ammunition stuff. Ah man, I should have dropped the grenade launcher. You know what? Sorry guys, I am going to do that because I'm not sure what I will um, encounter. And the farther your shot travels, the wider it's better. If you want to do more damage to enemies, get as close as you can. I'm just reading some tips. You can reread any notes or files you've examined by pressing the button. Files can contain lots of useful information. All right, but anyways, I'm not sure what I will be encountering and I don't have any grenade rounds anymore, so, anymore, so that's useless. And I do have flamer rounds, so I'm just swapping it out for the burner. And some more burner fuel. That's what I mean. I don't really like that burner, but... At least... It's more effective than an empty grenade launcher. I would say and it's more or less effective against molded not really effective it, I think it does take some 50 flame fuel to kill one so with 150 I can kill three of them but it's for, for instance not really that effective against those four-legged molded which are a bit too quick for the flamer to really target no buddy this is a test of skills so no cheating that shit you're carrying get rid of it what shit do i need to get rid of all my shit Um, wait. Go after Lucas in the party room. <laughs> Trying to keep the knife. Let's see if we are allowed in. That shit you're carrying? Get rid of it. Like so? That shit you're carrying? Get rid of it. God damn it. Alright, it would be cool if I can keep my medicine. That shit you're carrying? Get rid of it. God damn it. All right, let's see what of what crazy stuff will be popping up now. 
Holy shit, we are back in that. Have a nice day. We are back in that room from the videotape. That's so cool. Man, it's such a cool game. And I know how it ends. It ends with being torched. Ah, so this is the party room. All right, what do you say we play a little game? All you gotta do is light the candle and put it on the cake. Kiss my ass. Ethan, language. There are children in the building somewhere, I think. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> All right, the good thing is that I actually know the combinations and stuff. More or less. Unless it changed, of course. This was the long one. And this was the regular thingy. Like... Which one was that again? Not this one, right? Nope. This one. Ah. So it did change. Unless I'm mixing up these two. God damn it. Um, I know I don't want to open up this one because that will set the room ablaze at the end. So this is actually Lucas's party room. Let's uh, get to yeah that back room. Just need to open that one up. Man, it's such a cool game. It really feels like. Like I'm in a soul movie. Oh, that's also pretty cool. That it took a while. So cool. I do know. I hope the uh, combination. Oh shit! I was already probably past it, past the S. Nice. So cool because this means that I can open it up or put the candle down without getting torched. Very nice. And by the way, let's discard that one. Can I discard it? No. Whatever. Let's see, by the way, if I can... Uh, I cannot interact with it anymore. I wanted to say, let's see if I can... Burn the balloon. There is quite some shimmering going on. The, the game does look amazing in my book. 
And apparently in on the PS4 Pro in VR, it's totally more scary. I can imagine. But there are, I don't think there are too many games out yet that warrant or justify for me buying like a VR set. Although the Oculus Rift, I'm pretty curious about that one. But here we go. Boom. Can I get the hell out of here? Hello. Alright, at least the room is not on fire. Motherfucker! You're supposed to die! Holy shit! Holy shit! What the hell do I do with this? Ah! Uh, shit! Do I need to start this thing all over? Psychostimulants will allow you to easily see where nearby items are for a limited amount of time. Use this for those hard to find items. Man, I need to freaking redo this whole section. Have a nice day. It's so funny that they actually just gave like, or took, I think, inspiration from all right what do you say we play a little game all you gotta do is light the candle and they put it on the cake kiss my ass ethan language there are children in the building somewhere they, i think they they took i'm not sure anymore <laughs> They took inspiration from like soul, I find. Anyways, I do think I know what to do. I need to get that binocular again and check out the combination. Where was that binocular? Ah, it was over here. And then I can Hello, did I take it? Oh. Then I can open up that cupboard and that probably allows me to deactivate that uh, explosive clock. Let's first clean up the telescope. Very nice. Let's see what the combination. Yes, it is the same. I do think uh, I had the middle one wrong, I think. So the middle one is uh, what looks to be like a, a pillar. The left one is a hanging person. The right one is a fetus. And the pillar has some kind of a crow on top of it. Here we go. We can do this. Really fun. I'm not sure whether it also started in the video uh, tape section in this area, like the, the, the stove. I think it started immediately. So that randomness is actually pretty cool, I must say. Or not random, but like that, that it's just a tad different than the first time I was here. I wonder, do I need that balloon actually? I don't think I do. Let's just leave it there. Like so. And like so. And now let's before triggering the detonation is there anything here no 
I'm not sure what it's with this cupboard. Just seeing, just when I turn away, I started noticing things. Those handles, they look pretty damn realistic. Like also the mesh, it's really not blocky or edgy at all. It look, really looks like a little cru yeah, piece of piece of um, how do you say? Yeah, just a, a rounded metal handle. Um, my plan was now to I'll put this one already in place. So that will be the hanging person. Then we have the one with the curl and we have the fetus. Ah, that was that finger. I wonder whether I need this actually. Yeah, god damn it. I will die again, I think. I thought there should be would be something in there maybe to deactivate the bomb, but why would he put something like that in there actually? Hey, check this out. There's some space behind this wall. All right, then I can put the bomb over there, right? Let's try that. Nope, wrong. have simply run away I guess was that door open Two people, Mia and Zoe, both of them. All right, I really digged this uh, little puzzle section. Really cool. Ah, here we have the serum. D series hands. Finally. Let's combine that into a serum. to the touch all right let's take my stuff i would like to have a repair kit as well it will allow me to get like that better shotgun and also this broken handgun all right let's see let's 
let's take this one and do I still have no I, I thought the one was maybe like the ammunition but I don't think that the one is for the ammunition the one is for the fact that I have one grenade launcher let's take the burner let's take the shotgun let's take the knife the ammo the shells the aid kit and that is about that and of course the hand the arm where the hell's the arm that's about that by the way i still didn't find that extra um weapon in the master bedroom of the main house there was like this map which mark the location of a weapon let's examine it d5 all right let's combine it hmm and let's examine this one d2 All right, I thought I could combine them, but of course it's, it does make a bit of sense. Why would combining, what is it by the way? It's an arm and a head. Combining them of course does not automatically produce a liquid serum. So I probably have to get some utensils to convert it into the serum man that lucas guy i do think a boss fight might be coming up All right what do i have seven shotgun 25 regular ammo, one enhanced pistol ammo. Where the hell are we now? Outside. If I were Ethan, I would get the hell out of here. Just run, forest, run. I think we might be heading towards a ship. Somehow I read something that actually the reason that's like this virus or something came here was the stranding of a ship quite hard to imagine in Louisiana but apparently it is all right let's get a crank did I have a crank yes I have And let's check the time. Man, time flies when you're having fun. Already hitting the 25 minute marker. So, guys, I am going to have to end the episode here. Uh, continue in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, a share, or maybe even a subscribe. Um, see you in the next episode and do keep on gaming. See you later.